Well, we're always being told just how busy our hospital A&E departments are, but over the past few weeks, in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, things have been noticeably different. In fact, that means that there's been something like a reduction of 50% in the number of people who've been presenting with uh, symptoms of heart attacks and a 40% reduction in people who perhaps have symptoms of a stroke. And that's worrying the doctors. We can quite understand that patients are afraid, but they don't want to be afraid because we're fully set up here. We can separate out patients with COVID from patients without. So you'll be quite safe. There's nothing to be afraid of. So if you do get chest pain, the message is ring 999. What you don't do is ring your GP or ring 111 or ring your sister. If it's a serious problem and you're ill, then ring 999. So the message is very clear. Do not be put off dialing 999 or coming to hospital if you think there's something seriously wrong with you. And that's particularly important if perhaps you've got symptoms of something like a stroke. People will recover from COVID, but if you don't get treatment for a stroke, um, you will suffer consequences and you will have possibly real long-term disability. And it may you know, be a problem with recovery. Uh, and people do die of strokes as well if they don't seek urgent attention. But what we're saying is that the sooner you get into hospital, the sooner you're treated by the specialists, the sooner you can have the treatment and the specialist support that you need. The harsh reality in all of this is that the people who have delayed dialing 999 or seeking medical treatment at a hospital are either seriously ill now or may sadly have died. So there's a lesson for us all there. If you have symptoms and you're worried, you need to pick up the phone and seek medical assistance.